This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training with another PowerPoint tip to help you make happy hour. How to quickly create and use an intentional false animation. And what I mean by that is basically just a flipbook effect like this that you can use to walk someone through your deck. And here in PowerPoint, I have our challenge side layout from our online training course, this time mocked up as a five-step project overview that I wanna walk someone through with an intentional false animation. And it's worth pointing out, this is the only type of animation that will survive a trip to the printer. And to do this, I'll first hit Control Shift D on my keyboard to duplicate the slide, and this is where I want my false animation to start. I'll quickly make some adjustments to create some visual contrast. You can download our QAT if you subscribe to our website. I'll type step number one, and I'll also delete this text box like that. Now to create the other slides, I'll just hit Control Shift D on my keyboard, one, two, three, four times, so that I have six slides in total there on the left side of the screen. Now to create the intentional false animation, I'll select the bottom rectangle, and I'll use my QAT, Alt 3, I'll make it a dark blue, Alt 2, Enter for white, I'll then double click my format painter to lock it, page up, page up, page up, all the way to step number one, and then I'll hit escape to unlock the format painter. Now you can see that I already have my intentional false animation there on the left side of the screen with just the colors, but I can also do it with the shapes. So for step number four and five, just to give you a feel for this, I'll navigate to edit shape, change shape, and I'm gonna choose a pentagon right here. I'll click the next slide, select step number five, control Y to redo, and hit escape. From here, you just need to fill in your deck, which I've mocked up for you so that it might look something like this, F5 for slideshow mode, and as I flip to the deck, you can see the intentional false animation there on the left, which you can use to visually walk someone through your deck. And again, this is the only type of animation that will survive a trip to the printer. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.